for folks that don't know nothing about Flat Bottom. Flat Bottom is the road that backs up to the Etowah River and comes out down at Etowah Downs, which is an absolutely gorgeous development. And lots of folks have been here several years and never been on Flat Bottom, which I just find really, really weird. And the first thing I do when somebody comes to town is I take them on this little circle tour I'm taking y'all on. And we go out flat bottom and we come back up and we come back out on 372. Then we cross over and go down to Cons Creek and then we go Cons Creek to Spearing Road and then we go out to Rivers Mountain. Have I got y'all lost yet? I bet you I have. But let me tell you, if you move to Ball Ground, you better find out about the back roads. And that's some of the prettiest property, some of the prettiest land, some of the prettiest old homes, and some of the prettiest new homes. There's all kinds of stuff going on out here. Lots of land for sale. Everybody says we're getting too crowded. There's plenty of land out here. Lots of land, lots of places to build, lots of places people are building. Beautiful homes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's just a great, great area. And again, it backs up to the Etowah River. And hey, Charles Jenkins running for city council. Good luck, buddy. Here's, this is property that backs up to the Etowah. These have long, long driveways. But they all back up to the river, which is pretty cool. And then several of the lots at Etowah Downs backs up to the river. So it's really, really neat. And for price points down here, actually one acre sold for $62,000 and then eight acres sold for about 165, so the prices vary. And um, we have a listing now, two and a half acres, with an older mobile home in excellent condition. It's 269, but it's under contract, red, red, red clothes. And uh, that's the property that sold for 62. And just a lot of cool property down here, and it really is still country living. And again, this is flat bottom. If you hadn't been here, you need to get out and get in your car, get out of your neighborhood, get out of your subdivision, and just get out and ride these roads because there's some pretty cool stuff out here. That is a home that's being made out of containers, which I think is just the neatest thing ever. They've been working on it for over a year. And there's the home of our former legislator, Garland Penholster. And there's the property that we have under contract. Beautiful, beautiful property. Beautiful and right out here is land that sold in two days, about eight acres, sold for about 165. So it's just, it's a beautiful area and it is the kind of place, do y'all see how uncrowded it is? Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. And over here, now some of this is in the floodplain because the river does flood up through here, but it's great for cattle and there's always cattle out there, see that? And the Etowah is just right there through them bushes. How many of you didn't know how close we were to the river? I bet you there's a bunch of you that didn't because for a while I didn't, but I do now. And uh, there's a lot out here, two acres sold for about $50,000 and they built an absolutely gorgeous house on it. It is beautiful. And this house sold last year. They've redone it. It's really, really pretty. And then this is the beginning of Etowah Downs where they have lots of horses, lots of folks with uh, large lots. Everybody has about five acres and uh, a lot of equestrian. A lot of folks love this area and it truly is absolutely gorgeous. So this house right here was on the market for just about three days and sold in the mid fives. It's about three years old and uh, just a beautiful, beautiful home. And here's the lot that sold for about 50,000 for two acres. That kind of tell you what's going on around here. Um, people are moving in. They're loving it. They're loving this country living and see the horses. Yay. This is so pretty out here. Still some, there's a historical home around the corner that I just love. Oh my gosh, I love it. It reminds me of Gone with the Wind. It is the coolest house. And then here's George's new house that he built last year. Beautiful, beautiful home. A wonderful gentleman. We got to go in as they were building it and just beautiful, beautiful property. And then here's the historical one that I am 